Hey, what's up? Jordan here from HardcoreMusicStudio.com. Going to do a video for you on how to mix screaming vocals. And specifically, I'm going to focus on the EQ and the compression. And you're really going to see how compression is really the name of the game here. So we want this to sound aggressive and strong and in your face, really right up front in the mix. Let's just check out what the finished mix sounds like. All right, so let's bypass all of our plugins here and see just what the raw vocal track sounded like. So it sounds like it was recorded with maybe a little bit of compression, but we're definitely going to need a lot more to... Uh, even this out and also get some energy out of the vocals. So the first thing I've got up here is the SSL channel and I've got this channel out button engaged so that means that the EQ is coming before the compressor and I like to EQ into the compressor so I'll get the compressor going first before I start adding EQ. So I've got a 6 to 1 ratio here so fairly aggressive fast attack and fastest release and I'm not afraid to get a lot of gain reduction here. I really want to just put this right up front and really even off all the dynamic uh, inconsistency here. So let's bypass the EQ section and then let's see what the compressor does. Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! I'm dead my cup in the fountain of youth! A feeble attempt soon forgotten! So now we've got a way more even vocal just level wise, but we've also got a little more aggression out of it, just kind of bringing out the consonants and making it sound like he's pushing a little bit harder. Now let's walk through the EQ. So these are pretty standard uh, frequencies that I would use to EQ a scream vocal. So first we've got a high pass filter at 120, so just getting rid of any extra low end mud that we don't need. And let's skip down here to the bottom. We're taking out 3 dB with a low shelf, and that's at 150. So often with screen vocals, it's recorded you know, right up on the mic, so we're getting extra low-end buildup. So compared to a melodic, like a singing vocal, you might have to take out a little bit of low-end here. So that's what I'm doing there. Moving up the frequency spectrum here at 2K, we're doing a little boost. Just about 3 dB here at 2K. So that's going to give it that mid-range to really kind of just sit on top of the guitar since we've got a lot of you know heavy guitars here around living around the 1 to 2k area we want to make sure our vocal has some of that in it as well so that it doesn't get buried then a little bit higher around 4.5k we're also doing a little bit of a boost not as much um, but that 4.5k area is going to add more I think of it as the like intelligibility of the vocal so you're going to hear more of the s and the consonant sounds and it's just going to help them be a little bit more clear in the mix and lastly, we're doing a, a shelf boost here around 6K. We're adding uh, just under 4 dB. Often I'll start at 8K for this and I'll look for the, the brightness there. But in this case, I just thought it sounded a little bit better, a little bit lower down, got a little bit more edge out of it uh, at 6K. So let's AB this EQ. Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! I'm dead my cup in the fountain of youth! A feeble attempt soon forgot! So you can hear how there's a lot of mud. It sounds like almost there's a blanket over it when the EQ's off. But we clean up that low end here and we also get a nice bright high end and we help it poke through with the mid range. All in all, this plugin's doing a lot to set up our vocal here. Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! It's already sounding close to what a finished vocal, vocal would sound like, but we're definitely going to push this even farther. Next up, we've got our de -esser. So I just found an area just below 9K here. It was a little bit harsh, and we're just dipping out a little bit. Then the shell of a body fails me now. Then the shell of a body fails me now. So it's pretty subtle. It's uh, I'm not going to go in depth into de in this video, but just taking a little edge off of the S's. Now here is where a lot of my vocal sound is coming from. So remember on the SSL channel, we already compressed a lot, but to me, that's just setting it up for this one, which is the Wave CLA 76 blue face. And I'm doing a lot of compression on here. And it just, it's not so much about level control with this plugin. You know, we've already got a pretty even level with the SSL channel compressor doing, you know, 14 dB of gain reduction. Um, this is more about the attitude. And I'm just, I just want to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the vocal here. So listen specifically to the start of the words. So 
when he hits the start of the words, the consonants, you know, the C's and S's and T's and things like that, listen to how much harder those sound and listen to just how it comes right up in your face and it sounds ex- like way more aggressive. It sounds like he's screaming even harder than he was. Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! Hopefully you heard that. I'm going to play it again. Listen to it, especially the Bs. Listen to what he's saying, abandon, and then when he says body later on in the verse, listen without and then with it. Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body! Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! And then even things like this, like this heavy compression, it's bringing up all of the subtle, like low level sounds in between all the words. And what that's doing is it's bringing all of the character of the vocalist, like all of the subtle things that make them unique. It's bringing that all up to the front. So it's not that I'm just trying to get a, an even block in terms of level control on the vocal. I'm really just trying to affect the sound of it, make it sound more aggressive, and then also bring out all the subtleties that make it unique and, and just squeeze every bit of energy out of it. I should note I'm using the in-your-face vocals setting here on the Waves plugin. So it's got a medium attack and a fast release, 4 to 1 ratio. But the key is just that I've cranked this input up so we're, you know, we're pretty much pinning the needle down here. It's not so much about uh, the amount of gain reduction. You just got to listen to what it's doing. And I'm trying to, basically what I do when I'm setting this compressor is I look away from it or close my eyes or something. And I just keep turning up the knob until I get that right amount of energy and attitude. I don't want to be influenced by how much the needle is moving. I want to keep turning it till I get that sound that I'm looking for. So listen just to the breath and like the start and end of the words here. A body fails me now. Body fails me. Body fails me now. And with these two plugins, it's really 90% of my vocal sound. You know, we've got the EQ here, compressor there, and then giving all of the, the attitude and, and aggressiveness with the uh, 1176 plug-in here. Can't be afraid to hit stuff hard with this, and I find that if you find yourself needing like tons and tons of EQ on it, you might just not be using enough compress- compression. I found that, you know, if you can get the attitude out of the compressors like this, you only need a little bit of EQ here. You know, I'm not doing more than like around 3 dB of boosting here on the EQ on each each of these moves, uh, but we're still getting a nice aggressive sound. Now it's just a matter of capping it off with a little bit of limiting. So the L1 limiter is not going to work too hard, but it's just going to shave off the peaks and it's just going to even more so just pin it right up front in the mix. So that's not working hard, but even just taking off those little peaks, it's allowing it's allowing it to bring up just again more of the low level stuff and just pin it right up front there. Lastly, we're just doing some saturation with the sound choice decapitator. See, it's only about a one and a half here with the E mode. I found that gave it a little bit of extra uh, aggressiveness in the, in the high mid-range and then I just backed down the tone a little bit here off the middle so just a little bit to the left because it was a little bit too bright but let's check out what this does just adding some harmonics filling out kind of the mid-range making it a bit thicker and that's what I ended up with in the mix so let's check it all out one more time Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! Swords out in the pants and the shell of a body fails me now! I'm Jim Marshall, bend the fails in the view! One more example here, if I leave everything else on except for the 1176 here, you can hear how maybe the level's not really changing, but listen to just how the subtleties in between words and just how the start and ends of words sound, uh, how it just adds adds that character that we want. All right, so hopefully that clears some things up for you on how to mix screaming vocals, 
try it out in your next mix don't be shy with that compressor try not to get influenced too much by the needle moving just use your ears and try to get that aggressive upfront sound give me a like on this video if it was helpful for you or leave a comment below if you've got any questions or insights here and if you just came across this channel for the first time and uh, you've never seen any of my videos before then i've got a free gift for you it's a free mixing cheat sheet and it's just a chart that outlines the best starting points for eq and compression for every track in your mix you know drums bass guitars vocals etc so to grab that just click the link below in the description or go over to hardcoremusicstudio.com You'll see the button to sign up for the free cheat sheet there. Just put in your name and email and you're going to get a bunch of free videos, free content. And that's where I send out all of my best stuff. So make sure you're on my email list. I want to help you get better at recording and mixing heavy music. And it's primarily all done through that list. So go ahead and grab that cheat sheet and we'll talk next time.